Hello and welcome back everyone. I am Manic Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4. When we last left off, we were beating Chinese armies uh, up as they tried to get across our island. Yes, I will take that. Thank you. Uh, now the problem is, is getting... Uh, ...troops to here. And getting... dealing with their boats. That is, I think, the biggest problem that I'm encountering. So otherwise, they are just marching around. Um... Fine, you I will just condense to stop losing so much frickin' money. I just want you to go somewhere so I can win a battle, please. Thank you. Tachi. Sure, and then we'll just go crush them. Good. Um, you guys are almost... It's the problem of having little islands in various areas is, uh... It's quite annoying when it comes down to having to defend against people with superior navy. Ming will pay 576 ducats? Absolutely. <laughs> You'll pay me at just a ridiculously stupid amount of gold? Sure. I would love to. Um, hold on. Prestige? Nah, I don't really care about that. Conquer Korea? Nope, don't want to do that. Uh, colonize the Son of Heaven requests that the islands to the north of Japan be settled. Landless Ronin for the peace of the Emperor. Owns the Kurils? Uh, Sakhalin, where is the Kurils? Is this Kuril Islands? That's probably them. So I will take this. Sure. Uh, in the meantime, though, you... Royal Marriage, yes. I want you to like us. Um, it'll still be a long time before we can actually integrate you. But you still like us, and that's good for that's good enough for me. Up fleet maintenance up, I will reduce inflation. Three. Come up here to help colonize everything. Uh, you are a river. So I'll probably go with this, this, then this, then that, maybe. Uh, I need to recover all my manpower, which is quite a lot, unfortunately. I wish I could just deal with Date easily. All countries do not have daimyo. So if I just... I 
truce is still until 1482. Yeah, it's a while. Never mind. Okay, so we crank up the speed. Um, I guess I will build armories. I said, I guess I will build armories as I click on things, right? Go spend a bunch of money. I don't know, nothing better to do with my time, really. Sure, I'll take that. build them all over. I have not that many provinces, so I can still, uh... Army organizer, so we actually only have 33 force limit. Actually seems like a lot, now that you mention it. You are growing just fine. It's been a while since I colonized anything in a game. I think it was my uh, Comanche game was the last time I used colonists. Wow. Crazy. No, Russia. Russia was the last time I used a colonist. Still making money, that's good. Ah, just sitting back, kind of letting things go at the moment. Economy, where do I get most of my money from? I get it from taxes. Ooh, I'm up by 0 .03. Exciting. It's not really exciting, let's... Let's be honest, who am I kidding? Drop our army maintenance down a bit. Save us some money. Fish. I'll go figure it's always fish, isn't it? Another idea. Eh, I think it's probably best to go with explorers and conquistadors. That'll be exciting. I can actually go out and explore things. Probably can't colonize them yet, but I can explore them at the very least. Don't really even want to bother with it at the moment, though. Thankfully, nobody over here is very ferocious. Lose some prestige, because I don't like losing stability at all. Build two more of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I suppose, nine. More, not too many more left. All right, um, five, two, I'm a four, four, four. I'm gonna be sad when this guy dies. So when he dies, uh, we will, not only appointed by the Emperor, the Shogunate became a hereditary military dictatorship. 1192 and 867. So this is kind of the slow part. I'm trying to get them to like me enough in order to uh, annex. I'd be happy to annex them, or go to war with them. Really, either way, I'd be I'd be fine with it. I just want it to happen. I don't know. Maybe colonize somewhere else. Japanese Australia, perhaps. That might be something interesting to try and get. Never actually made a colonial country in Australia. A colonial nation in Australia. I don't really care about going into Korea or anywhere else. Too much. It's not that important to me at the moment. It's just... You know, I want to get my lands sort of secured here.
I just... At what point can I just, like... I probably just have to take the stability hit to go to war with you, uh, to conquer Ryukyu. Uh, keep an eye on tech here. Volt risk. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of revolt risk. That's fine. Military tech I'd love to get. That gives me a little bit better, uh, soldiers. Fine. Let's improve relations with Ming, improve relations with Manchu. Date still likes us. That 217 aggressive expansion is going to take a while to go down, though. I'm just trying to think. I think it'd probably be easier just to go to war with them and, uh,. You know, break my true, break my vassalization, go to war with them, and eat them. I think would be the better, the best bet. I would say, because uh, yeah, I don't even think uh, I don't think any of. Well, I mean, I have to burn down like another 150 points at least to get close enough to annex them diplomatically. See, so yeah, I think just uh, breaking vassalization with them and eating them. Like, if I did it, well, I'd have to do it and then they would have to not ally or join a coalition with anyone else. Ani is self-sustaining. Excellent. Side of our colonial range. Let's go there. You go there. We'll build a fort there. That'll be my priority. So, a colony there. Admin tech, yes, I'll take that. That'll be very good, because then I can do uh, temples and stuff, gain some money. Let me just, you know what, since we're almost done with the armories, I'll just build an armory there. A little risk, that's fine. Fourteen eighty two was my truce with them, though, wasn't it? Yeah, fourteen eighty two, okay. Uh, you know what? Let me just I'm fill out the rest of my troops here, so uh, sixteen four, uh, seventeen eighteen. Nineteen. up to 27, at least here. That's 24. 25, 26. And I'll make another army. 27. There we go. You guys are set. Set, I think. Of course, my army's, my force limit size, or my uh, combat width is only 5, so having a 27 stack army is kind of useless, but 
I like it at least. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and then one more. Probably one more uh, cavalry, maybe, for this army. One more month, and then we should be able to fill up our force limits fully. There. Okay, now check our ideas. Colonial range, sure, because that gives me domestic trade power increase, which I very much like. All of you... sure that we're protected at least. Thirty admin power, that's not that bad. Uh, and then because we're so close to finishing with armories, I'll build one more. Oh actually, hold on. our maintenance and do this then. Oh, we can just do that. I mean, we have a royal marriage, so it'll affect stability. I will wait. lose aggressiveness, that's good. Uh, you will go back down to here, please. You don't, yeah, you don't have any siege value, so you're useless here anyway. I'm hoping that once we unite Japan... We gain a core on all of it, so I won't have to core any of this other crap. Uh, that's my hope, at least. Yeah, I should just attach, and then the rest of you go up here, probably. Coalition against us, that's nice. Tax income, uh, sure. Build it right there. Sounds good to me. Siege is almost finished, new colony is almost finished. I'll probably go for that one, then that one, then that one. Yeah, actually, we could probably do that as well. Colonize that one, I mean. There we go, and I've also got the achievement. Chrysanthemum Throne. Japan is united. Uh, the warring factions of Japan have finally been united under a strong emperor. We are now a feudal monarchy. We are no longer a shogunate. Uh, and we are Japan. Damn it, I still don't have cores on everything. Okay. Fine, I will just core everything myself. If you want to be that way, we'll do it. Do that. 
All right, so uh, in the meantime, well, I guess we'll pick this up next time is what I'm trying to say. Uh, in the meantime, though, I'm Manic Mink. This is European Universalis 4, and we'll see you later. Take care.